Hey everyone, it's April 16th, that makes it a Tuesday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute, and today I'm going to talk to you about Google AdWords some more. So yesterday we went over a brief introduction of what Google AdWords is, how to kind of get things started, and then uh, what to do if you want to learn more about it, or if you're going to hire someone to help you out with that. Today, I wanted to dive a little bit further into Google AdWords and talk to you about quality score. So quality score is at the heart of it what your Google AdWords campaign is all about and how Google measures the effectiveness of your campaign. Quality score will help determine how much you're gonna pay, how often you're gonna show up, uh, very important things. So what is quality score? Well, it's a scale from one to 10 one being the worst, 10 being the best. And there's a number of factors that go into determining what your quality score is gonna be. At the end of the day, it's based on keyword by keyword basis. And what Google's looking at when they assign a quality score is, hey, how relevant is the advertisement that this advertiser is showing to our users? And are our users finding a benefit from that ad? Because Google is in the business of eyeballs. At the end of the day, Google needs users to come back to Google and keep using their search engine so that people keep clicking on those ads and Google makes money. It's a pay-per-click system. Google doesn't make any money until you, the user, click on one of those ads. So Google needs to make sure that the ads that it shows are relevant for that search and that the users that are seeing it are gonna click on those ads. Now, users are gonna click on those ads if they're relevant to what they're searching for. One step further, Google even checks to see the bounce rate. So, if you click on an ad and it takes you to a website and that website has nothing to do with what you were searching for and you hit the back button and go back to Google, that's a bounce. And Google checks how many times that happens for an ad. If it happens a lot, guess what? The quality score is gonna go down because that ad is delivering unrelevant or irrelevant content for what the user is searching for. So at the end of the day, you wanna make sure you're selecting keywords that have to do with your business, that you're creating ads that explain how those keywords and that ad is relevant to the user. And then, at the end, and then the final step is you create a website that has content on it that explains all that relevancy and gets people to take some sort of an action, whether it's going further into the website, filling out a web form, you name it. You wanna make sure you're driving people into your website further. Google will watch all of that. And all of this factors into the quality score. All of this factors into your click-through rate. So how many times your ad is showing up versus how many times people are clicking on it is your CTR or click-through rate. You want that to be as high as possible. It varies widely across industries. There are some clients I've got where we've got keywords that are getting about a 1% click-through rate. And that is the best that that keyword is going to get just because people are searching for a kind of an informational search on that, and so they're less likely to click on ads and go into a buying decision. I've got other ads with them that are getting 25 and 50% click-through rates. Um, now, you have to be very careful because if you're getting a high, super high click-through rate and there's not a lot of conversions and there's a lot of costs involved, suddenly you're gonna spend all of your budget out of control. But that's getting off topic a little bit. What we want to focus on is quality score. So at the end of the day, quality score really comes down to the relevancy of your keyword, the relevancy of the ad, and then the relevancy of your web page. So what you have to control there really is the ads in terms of doing testing. So you want to make sure you're running at least two ads per ad group at any time. And that way you're testing whether the copy for one ad is better than the other. Uh, that's a whole nother uh, video that I'll do at some point talking about advertisements. But today I just wanted to leave you with the quality score and how important that is to really be focusing on when you're creating these campaigns and then as you're maintaining them a long time. The better of a quality score you've got affects directly to your bid and spend amount. So a keyword that has a quality score of a 10 
versus a keyword that has a quality score of two, the 10 is going to spend less money on average than the two. And that's because when Google factors in its auction for your click, they look at not only what you're bidding, so you're, let's say you're willing to spend $5 on a click for a certain keyword. Well, the 10 is already proved to Google that people are gonna click on it more often than not. So there's already a factor in Google's mind that, hey, that 10 keyword is gonna make us more money over a number of clicks versus the number two, which is either unproven because it's a brand new campaign or keyword, or it just hasn't produced well over time. And so that, that keyword is making Google less money. So not only is the 10 gonna show up higher, but there's a possibility that the 10 is gonna show up in a higher place and still be spending less on a per click basis than the number two is. So it's really important that you get good quality scores for all of your keywords, and you're always keeping that in mind as you're maintaining your campaign. If you have questions on this, there's the email address. Comments are down below. Let me know what you think. I uh, got some feedback already. People are interested in this topic. I'm happy to talk about this stuff all day long. There's tons of resources. I am by no means the end all be all for this subject. Once again, Brad Geddes is the first person I would send every single person to. His website is certifiedknowledge. I believe it's com. It might be meta.org, but it'll be correct here when I put it in. Um, he's got a book, Advanced AdWords. Absolutely amazing, covers all of this stuff into great detail, better than I could ever do it. Um, and Search Engine Journal, if you Google this stuff, there's endless amounts of information. Uh, I'm learning still too, so if there's something here that either I got wrong or I missed or I could have added, let me know. I'm happy to be humble and share information and gain information and see where all we can go. Um, but in the end, tomorrow's Wednesday, that's hump day, getting us halfway through another week. I'll see you there. Until then, rock and roll.